And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Karma Lux Control. That's right, it's been a long time since we've played this deck, but I've been wanting to play more uh, Radiant Guardian decks with how popular Noxus is. So I've been wanting to try some more different Radiant Guardian Lux Remembrance decks. And I kind of remembered, yeah, what about Karma Lux? It's been a while since we've taken a look at this deck. Let's give it a try. So there's been a lot of nerfs with this deck. You know, you used to play Loyal Badger Bear, but that got nerfed to a 3-4, so I'm going to be playing the Mage Seeker Investigator instead. Grizzled Ranger got nerfed. Uh, Deep Meditation got nerfed. And, and now Deep Meditation is kind of slow and expensive, and so I'm just playing it as a 1-of instead of a 3-of. Because remember, we also have the Karmas Inside of Ages that create a bunch of spells for us in the late game as well. Um, so I don't want to get like my hand... Uh, clogged with too many of these deep meditations but yeah karma also got nerfed you know it costs more mana now um unyielding spirit got nerfed lots of things getting nerfed as far as our list goes um, i'm playing two denies because of harrowing that's why we're playing a second deny instead of just playing one and that's also kind of why we're playing a judgment so we can have judgment to go along with you know like a radiant guardian or a lux or something like if if our opponent goes harrowing um you know maybe we can and they go wide with that we can clear them up with a judgment i love back-to-back -back in this kind of deck and i'm sad i'm not having room for back-to-back -back. um i also love stand united i love both of these six mana cards stand united and back-to-back -back. so we'll see kind of how the judgment and two unyielding spirits fare um if the judgment doesn't end up being that good you know we can go back to back or stand united instead stand united's awesome but the one problem with stand united is it doesn't work super well with a leveled up karma because whenever you cast the spell twice, you will swap the two allies, and then you'll swap them back. <laughs> so all, all it is is just give two allies barrier, which still isn't bad. Um, but I love both those cards. They're six mana burst speed uh, that you know level up Lux. And if you have the Karma in play, you cast them twice, and you level up Lux twice burst speed. That's uh, pretty nice. But uh, we're going to go with this. A little worried about not having enough early stuff. We'll kind of see how it goes. We'll see if Grizzled Ranger is really worth it. The thing that I do still like about Grizzled Ranger quite a bit. All right, so a bad thing and a good thing. We'll go with the bad thing first. The bad thing is that our four drop doesn't block the most important four drop in the format, uh, Basilis Grider, at all. And that's the bad thing, is this card really doesn't match up against Basilis Grider um, at all. And that's bad. Good thing is it's very easy to have Grizzled Ranger die. You know, like you play Grizzled Ranger on turn four, maybe, you'd, and you have the attack token turn five, and so then you attack turn five. They block, um, you know, like your Grizzled Ranger dies. It's very easy to have this thing die and then turn on your Radiant Guardian. Basically, that's what I'm saying. Like this is a, Grizzled Ranger is a great card at turning on Radiant Guardian. Because even if they kill the Grizzled Ranger on turn four, you can still probably have the Loyal Badger Bear die on turn five. You get the extra body. Um, so that does, um, so that is a good pairing there. But we'll see. Um, if it's if it works in this metagame or if it's too slow. Um, uh, yeah. You think it should we should play Valor instead of Grizzled Ranger? I mean we could do that. That's an I mean you can you can definitely have your Valor die when you want it to die. The thing is, like, you get to attack in with Grizzled Ranger and have it die, and then you get another attack step because that's that's your scout attack. So then you get another attack step. So then you get your Radiant Guardian attack. And this can be a two for one on smaller stuff. You know, you can trade with like a two mana card with this, and then you still have a three four body left over. Uh, I'm gonna try it like this. We're gonna try it like this, but I'm not. I'm not saying that this list is absolutely perfect. There, there are some some uh, cards to try out, and yeah, blinding assault. I I'm a fan of blinding assault, and you know if if it turns out, you know like we don't really need like mage seeker investigator or something like that, we could go blinding assault. But I also really like detain against large noxus units. I think detain's a good spot to be too. Let's give this a try. Oh yeah, valor is scout as well. That is true. That's a good call. Hmm. So maybe, you know what, we're going to kind of split the difference. Instead of just having three of these four mana cards, let's go one Valor, two Grizzled Ranger. All right. Don't convince me. We're playing one. We won't go the full three. Stop. 
We won't go the full three Grizzled Ranger, and I'll update our deckless command. Okay. Deckless command updated. Katarina Braum. Okay, this looks like a good hand. To mulligan everything. So I'm probably not going to just throw down Mage Seeker Persuader on turn two. I'm probably going to give my chance give myself another chance to draw Remembrance, which is the card that we want the most. Um, so just going to give ourselves the option. No, we didn't hit it. That's always the card we want the most. Let me turn down this SFX volume just a little bit still. Seems like that SFX volume is always pretty loud. Let us get going. Uh, hmm. That card's messy. I would love to play. I, I was, I really wanted to play Grizzled Ranger, and um, have Grizzled Ranger block the three three. Could still go Grizzled Ranger. I don't know if they'll have Elixir of Iron. Elixir of Iron can be a problem if they have that. Alright, let's mess some folks up. Alright, cool, Dr. Grindel. A Yasuo Lee deck. My shield. Good luck. So I'm, I hope this works. I'm not doing the loyal badger bear because I want the loyal badger bear to stay three four to be able to handle these three threes. This didn't work out. Didn't really work out. Mages can't hide from me. That was even worse than Elixir of Iron for me. They should have a couple of one mana five fives. At least one. One cold. mana five five. I like it more when we have Remembrance. Turning on Radiant Guardian is tough, isn't it? I mean, I guess, I guess if I had Valor instead of Grizzled Ranger, but... Um... 
I just don't really have any good options. Okay, that's not as bad. Demacia not competitive enough? Really? We played six turns? Oh my gosh, that's the... We played six turns and Twitch chat says that Demacia is not competitive enough. <laughs> six turns. Already done with it. Hey, Enmo. Opponent just has a really good curve with, you know, Omen Hawk and, you know, Transfusion to protect Braum and, and you know, like these 4-4 Trappers making these Enraged Yetis. You know, like they have, a, they have a really good solid hand. Yeah, we don't have Remembrance. So. We don't have our good stuff. They got their good hand. And conclusion, Demacia as a region, not good enough anymore. The whole region. The part of this game is I just couldn't play, couldn't play Radiant Guardian. This is my choice. Yeah, I guess if they have any kind of pump spell, I lose anyway. So no reason to be, no reason to try to play around any kind of pump spell because I can't because if they do I lose we're not a normal Demacia deck like we are a con we are a control deck this isn't a normal um, you know play to the board Demacia deck we're we're a different deck We're not really what the Demacia region is about. My deck is like, you need to play Radiant Guardians. Here, get get some more, get some more. It's like, yes, I know I need to play Radiant Guardian, but I have no ability to. Yes, Dr. Grendel, I always am. Yeah, yeah, I always am. I'm always okay with that. I don't think there's any out. I mean, my my best play, like, is, this isn't going to be good enough, but I, I can't I can't get Radiant Guardian turned on Only the finest at all. Um, like, I could attack in with a three two and, and hope they block with Brom and then get right and have Radiant Guardian turned on. Uh, 
Like, they block with Braum, they get a Mighty Poro, I play Radiant Guardian, they challenge Radiant Guardian at the end. Like, that, that situation isn't helpful. Yeah, maybe, maybe if maybe if Grizzled Ranger was Valor, would have been able to turn on Radiant Guardian. Don't know. I like. I don't know if just a turned on Radiant Guardian would have won us that game. Like we, they had a whole bunch of stuff. And everything again. Can we play like six remembrances? Is that allowed? Can we do that? That looks pretty good. I would... Uh, I'd probably recommend playing a Yone. I think Yone is awesome. It's kind of the problem with Lee Sin is it does just add to... Like, regular Yasuo stuff wants to play a lot of expensive stuff, and Lee Sin is just another expensive thing to play. Not a problem with putting Lisa in with Yasuo. Nothing escapes my watch. The curve is super high. I mean, just like, I mean, I can't really. Say anything, the curve in my hand looks super high. The Minotaurs and Mina Swiftfoot are very powerful cards. Like replacing them with Yone doesn't really change anything. Like it doesn't doesn't really make the deck better. I just think Yone is probably better than Lee Sin, though, in that deck. You don't really have the cheap spells for Lee Sin. Oh, this, is, this is not ideal. Those mushroom clouds are awesome for them. I'm just going to let them get more mushroom clouds. That's not ideal. Has anybody seen a worse hand in their life than what we've had this game? Do nothing until turn six. Our attack really does rely on remembrance, doesn't it? An auspicious season. I don't have any. We don't have any good cards besides remembrance for the first six turns of the game. The first five turns of the game. Everywhere I go, the light follows. <laughs> Shine with me. Just 
isn't great. This would be a good winter. Judgment's another answer to Harrowing and a card that can be amazing with a Radiant Guardian. So one of it, we, we really debated between Stand United, um, Back to Back, and Judgment. And went with the Judgment for those reasons, like with this metagame, how important Harrowing is and stopping that. So many things I can't beat. Sajuani is one of them. Ah, an auspicious season. But this does give me my best chance of winning. Of having Radiant Guardian Judgment. Like they're just looking for Sejuani. I don't want to risk putting Radiant Guardian in front of Puff Cap. I guess Puff Cap Peddler can't kill it because of the tough. I guess I could have put it. I was thinking like Elixir of Iron. I don't want to put it in front of because of that. But I guess because of the tough, it won't kill Radiant Guardian. So I guess I could have put it in front of Peddler to kill that in case of tough. I mean, that just gives us another out, though, Nightward. You said we had to have Deny to counter because having Radiant Guardian in play with the Judgment is once in a blue moon. I mean, it gives gives us another out. Um, obviously, we have Denies as well, but it's, you know, it's just the more, the more outs you have, the better. Yeah, there's a chance that the uh, Judgment can save the game for us. There's a chance. Not the best chance. We still have a ton of puff caps, but this is a this is a start. Turn. I don't need more than that. 
This will give me 12. This will let me play. Um, Karma and Concerted Strike and Health Potion next turn. If I've gone Grizzled Ranger, what am I good enough? Alright, that'll put us back up to 10. I'm glad we drew this Will of Ionia so that if we need to... We can bounce the Teemo. No karma yet, just haven't had the ability to play karma yet. This is me going to five. Which I shouldn't die from five. Should be okay there still. Good draw. Banish the unworthy. Again, don't try not to let them play Sejuani. Like Sejuani's the card that, that kills me anytime they play that card, because it just I could just get frostbitten every turn with drawing all these puff caps. They have to have something to keep this alive. There's no reason to sacrifice Team. Really? They just sacrifice Teemo? Just take five damage. That's such a bad play. Okay, well, I guess... I guess that makes sense, then. Yes. Still doesn't, really. Because I have to deal with their Teemo that they already have. They just gave me a 3 out to a Teemo. I'd still have to use removal on the 2-2, two -two, and then you can have the 7-7 seven -seven afterwards. Doesn't really matter if this thing does 2 or 7 damage that much. Like, doubling the puff caps is going to kill would kill me. Looks like I can't even choose just one. I would like to just choose that. But it does it forces me to, to choose the other one as well. Because with the double casting, I'd like to just hit have Radiant Guardian strike it twice. But now Radi Radiant Guardian will only strike it once. Probably saving that static shock for, you know, if they have Sejuani in play to be able to frostbite. They're out there. I'll spot them. It's going to be really tough to win. So we have to, like, somehow win before they find Sejuani, and I don't really know how that's supposed to happen. I guess I shouldn't be denying this. I don't know if we'll have anything better to deny. Reconsider. Keep them from drawing a card. So 
but basically need like Lux would be good, right? And whatever you get with the first one, I think you always create the second one. I think, not 100% on that. Inside of Ages would be a great draw as well. Like so, another another Karma that gets us inside of Ages because that that's like a way for us to draw cards, but not actually uh, take cards out of our deck. So that'd be a great draw for me. Not bad. We just need them to keep not drawing Sejuani, please. Please keep not drawing Sejuani. Could play like we could play like Lux over the Grizzled Ranger to try to have lethal. We have done very good at them at them not drawing dead one. Oh no! Fight for your lives. We're doing so good at that. Oh, that's not going to save it. I was thinking that was going to go more. Oh, that was bad. Hmm. That's not going to save it. Hmm. So that gives me four mana for Lux. Now Blinding Assault will be the other five and six. So I'll be able to just uh, kill the Puffcat Peddler at least. So it's that was probably worth it to still be able to do that, kill this Peddler. 65 puff caps, that's all you get. Hmm. 
Man, Karma, if you could have just been the turn before. If you could have just been the turn before. No puff cap. No puff cap. Okay. This is gonna work. Didn't play Karma because I didn't want them to just go like Thermogenic Beam Karma. I wanted to be able to play Karma and play Spell. I was thinking that, you know, we'd have the mana to be able to do both, but this is like... This is, I think, the only card in our entire deck that I couldn't play with Karma. I don't think there's another one in, in the whole deck. I mean, I guess... I guess like Radiant, or like the 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 one last um, Unyielding Spirit, I guess that's the other one. Um... So what do you want? You want me to challenge Sejuani with the bird and then play Radiant Guardian and then... The problem is they, they could just play another blocker. Or like, like, the problem with that is if, like, what if they play two... I would only have one challenger left, so what if they play a second blocker? They just block. So, like, if, if either of those cards in their hand was a unit, which was super likely, then that line of Valor, go get Radiant, you know, play, get a 5-5 five, five Radiant Guardian doesn't really work. Yeah, no, I took a while. I have to, you know, I have to kind of think through those things. Cause yeah, that was my that was my first instinct. That was a really good game. Unyielding Spirit saved us, and them not having Sejuani for a long time it saved us. That was definitely a game that didn't look like we were going to be in for the longest. All right, I like the Blinding Assault. We're gonna be keeping that. Um, Not too sure about anything else. I mean, I don't hate Will of Ionia or Concerted Strike against, you know, like, the, like Zed. You know, Zed's... I'll keep Will of Ionia. I'm basically keeping it because it costs four mana where I can play it on turn three. Because I can go nothing on one, um, Blinding Assault on two, and then turn three I can have Will of Ionia to bounce like a Zed if we need to. Uh, I hope not, though. I hope they don't have Zed. Lucian's whatever. Just hopefully no Zed. And Remembrance. Dude, we really need to play more Remembrances. We are really bad at playing Remembrance. We're real bad at that. And no, I'm not going to challenge here and then they play Zed afterwards and then go straight to combat and attack with Zed. That would be a catastrophe. So no, we're not doing that. We're just going to pass the turn.
to the face. Eat up, friend. Ah, shut up. Ouch. Ouch. All right, we'll have you fight you. That was a good card. <laughs> Need to play more deep meditations to draw remembrance. That doesn't... It's like if we play turn three deep meditation, turn four we won't even have the mana for remembrance. Ugh. No, that doesn't... doesn't help. Fine. And remembrance. This is friend Grizzled Ranger. Alright, let's mess some folks up. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. This is a pretty good Grizzled Ranger matchup. Next turn we'll have seven mana, not enough for Unyielding Spirit. Unyielding Spirit on a Grizzled Ranger can definitely be good sometimes. You get that two attacks in. Um, it's kind of nice, but they are just... It is just a 3-1 attacking twice. Not nearly as good as when it's a 4-1 attacking twice. Takes seven turns to kill somebody with three damage as opposed to five turns with four damage. Big, big difference. Take another six, or we're gonna do some blocking, or what? Karma's not a very good blocker, which makes Karma a difficult six mana champion. A six mana champion that you can't block with. That's kind of tough. Oh, we have eight, eight mana this turn, so yes, yeah, so we can go Unyielding Spirit. Why is the thing we're gonna have seven? We got eight. Um, all right, Zed. Ugh, Zed kind of needs to die. This is just not cool that it takes all my, my entire turn just to try to kill Zed. <laughs> yep, we got our old classic cheese combo with Karma Lux. That's why I wanted to play so I wanted to play Will of Ionia to be able to deny their deny instead of the concerted strike, but the problem was is that they they could just let they had three mana here or they could just let Will of Ionia resolve and then just replay Zed and then I just didn't get anywhere. Feel the sizzle. This should be me dying. Not a good karma matchup. Unfortunately, we drew two karmas. Much rather have Lux. Like this turn would have been this would have been a good Lux turn. You know, like if I would have just if we would have just had Lux, I would have I would have played that instead of the concerted strike. All right, one and two.
we've looked at um, eight, eight, and seven cards in our opening hands. And then by turn three, we've drawn another three cards. So we've looked at 11, 11, and 10 in the three games. And we've found zero remembrances out of any of those 31 cards that we've had the first three turns in any game. We'll make it another 11 here. Not a good hand. This is this is a really poor matchup though, just in general. Like, um, I didn't really play Karma Lux today to play against Zed Lucian. Uh, yeah, this is this is not a matchup I would want to face ever. I, I think we'll have a low, real low win percentage in this matchup. In the field, you call me command. Dominating again. That this is a this is a terrible matchup for us. They even have deny and stuff like that. Like this is this is bad. I've always got your back. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about you. I'm worried about me. Yeah, this, yep, I think our, our deck works better against low numbers of beefy dudes. That's why I wanted to try this against the Noxus decks. Um, well, that's not working so well. Always attack Lucian first, then Senna second, because you want to block Lucian. Like the the opponent wants to block Lucian, so always always do Lucian first, then Senna, so that if you do block Lucian, then you have to take the double strike from Senna, the double attack from Senna. I will end this here. I am literally tapped out. What are they doing? Just play that Will of Ionia before attacking. And then attack. What are they doing? I have no I have no mana. <laughs> Why'd they just let me block five damage? What is going on? Yes, they definitely attacked incorrectly and played that Will of Ionia incorrectly. It probably won't matter with them being uh, such heavy favorites here, but that was not a good turn for them. I think my better chance of winning this instead of playing Lux is playing Karma and having Karma create something for me, like more health potions or something like that. 
I know exactly what. I walk your path alone. I don't know. I don't. I, I don't think Will of Ionia is a nutty card. I played two Will of Ionias earlier, and I'm getting destroyed. It's not. I think it's a. I think it's the most overrated card. The balance wills it. Stop following me. Uh, let's see. That didn't help me out, Karma. I need you to make some good spell for me, or me draw another good spell. That did not help me out. So. Stay back. Rest. Collect your thoughts. Hold back the darkness. Peace has its cost. Not too much of a difference of going to one or going to two. We're gonna be dead to, yeah, we're dead to basically everything. It's fine. I'll just try to keep karma alive. If we're gonna be dead to everything anyway, might as well just not jump block with the karma. We're dead to any spell they can play. Okay. You're late. You are early. Okay. That can help. That can help. Not ideal. <sighs> That's not ideal. Oh yeah, I mean, we, we shouldn't be playing this game anymore. My opponent could have easily killed us two turns ago. Uh, let's see. Come on, Karma, make something good. Okay, okay, could be worse. The answer lies Would have loved the Lifesteal Barrier card instead of the regular Barrier card. I don't think we've played a 6-plus mana spell. No, we haven't. First speed turns on, levels up Lux, we get to attack, or so we get to do this. And try to kill Lucian. Oh crap, this thing has elusive. I forgot about that. Um, that's kind of my bad. 
Hmm. I just kind of forgot. Like with everything else going on. Okay, that's 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 me messing up. I forgot about that. Well. At least we survived, we survived a lot of turns that we really shouldn't have. Alright, please don't play against Zed Lucian. Do not like that matchup at all. Especially if we can't have turn 3 Remembrance. Just play against something else. Alright, so so far we've seen um, 43 cards before turn 3 total. Make that 47. Make that 51. We've seen 51 cards before turn 3 so far, and 0 have been the only card that I want, Remembrance. 52. 53. You can see the Nebastian border from here. 54. Fifty-four cards that we saw turn three or earlier in five games and zero remembrance. Can't hide from me. I would say the odds of that are not good. Fury of the North. I guess I should do this before combat damage anyway because of Vile Feast. They do have Fury of the North. Okay, then it doesn't really matter. They have Fury of the North. Unyielding Spirit is the card that I want to see the most now. Uh, now that we're going to get Remembrance earlier, now Unyielding Spirit is... That is the card that they uh, struggle with a lot. And that's the one that I want to see. I'm going to go ahead and attack in first. Okay, basically see if they use some kind of removal or something. See if there's a better chance of our Lux Karma surviving. If they use removal on this, it could go Radiant Guardian as well. Uh, we're gonna go Lux. Let the light guide you. Karma just dies to Grasp the Undying. So don't love doing that. Yeah, the This would level up Braum. That's a big problem. Hopefully this works. Cast Vengeance. Vengeance, Vengeance, Vengeance. No! Not Fury of the North. That was not the card I wanted to see. Ugh. It's gonna level up Braum. We're gonna kill the Braum, but the Braum's gonna be leveled up. Oh, that would've been nice to have, Will of Ionia.
Would I rather them get Anivia back than leveled up Braum? Like, I kind of think so. So I'm going to just kill the Anivia so that if they have Rekindler, they get back Anivia. Is that even right? No, they'll get they'll still get Braum, won't they? Hmm. I guess they'd still get Braum, won't they? The Order rewards its faithful. Return to us. Yeah, they will. Hmm. Should I just kill the 3 3? Uh... That Fury of the North was perfect. That was the that was the one card uh, that I couldn't deal with with deny. Deny had everything else covered. Plus one mana. I need, I need judgment. Not judgment, sorry. <clears throat> Unyielding spirit. I need unyielding spirit. been a really disappointing five games. Definitely thought our deck would do better than what it has. It's just it's been really disappointing. With a couple of times opponents having the exact cards they've need needed and and mean like there's one card at the beginning of the game that you need. One card, remembrance. And we've seen 55 cards. Sorry, 54. We saw 54 cards. Um, and zero of them were Remembrance. Just the odds of that are so low. Yeah, this weekend is Singleton Gauntlet, the weekend after that is going to be regular Gauntlet, and then the weekend after that I believe is also regular Gauntlet again. They only have the two Gauntlets for now. Um, you know, they'll keep adding in more Gauntlets, but you know, uh, they're working on the, the lab that just came in, and now there's going to be a vent after the next patch update after 1.6. And so, you know, they're working on a bunch of stuff, but for right now there's just the two Gauntlets. know what my plan is I, I don't have one I'm just conceding basically and I want to play one more game with this deck I don't know I, I want this deck to work I think it should it's just not working in the slightest um, so I can bounce that to keep them from drawing two cards I don't I don't have anything I mean I don't I can't stop like this. Yeah, let's just go to the next game. Like this is just over. 
I could draw on Yielding Spirit and then be able to target that on the Karma, and then they don't, don't have a removal for Karma also. Like, that's my only out, really. Yeah, I mean, that can definitely be a bad matchup if, you know, if the things that happened there... If we just put an Unyielding Spirit on, you know, a Karma, on a Lux, you know, like one of our champions, we get Unyielding Spirit on it, then, you know, we win. It's not, so it's not a terrible matchup, but, like, that's, that's what's required. Um, but yeah, these mulligans, these have been insane. Can, like, can we just start with turn three Remembrance and just see what the deck looks like? 59 car, or that's 58. 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, okay, maybe not. Finally, the 64th card was finally a remembrance. So I don't know. I don't know if this deck would be good against Noxus. We didn't get we didn't get paired against Noxus at all. Um, so I don't know. Like those y'all playing this, uh, you know, if anybody else is playing this deck later, you know, feel free to let me know if you think it's good against Noxus or not. Um, that was the whole point today. But. Still, Noxus is only, even though Noxus is the most popular deck, it's still only about, you know, 15% of the metagame or so. So you don't, you know, maybe 20%. You know, around 15 to 20%. So you don't, you don't just play against it every single game. My true beauty is beneath the skin. Okay, maybe play, maybe try it out without the Mage Seekers. I'm not beholden to the Mage, mage Seekers. Um, I like the, the two mana one's my favorite. I play playing the three mana one because I like it more than Badger Bear right now, especially if you do have the ability to play. Remember, it's on three. I think Detain can be pretty good against like these ten. 10 sixes and stuff like that, but if there's if there's something better to do than the Mage Seekers, I am I am not beholden to them. Karma Karma has just looked really slow, and Karma is not good against aggro. And and when we are playing against aggro, we are drawing lots and lots of Karmas, and Karma is just kind of too slow. Like, we could go Judgment to kill a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna bounce Neverglade Collector and block block. Collector being the 3-5 from Loman Hawk was kind of rough, otherwise I would have tried to, you know, would have used Concerta's Drag to try to kill it. Uh, instead of Will of Ionia. But had to use Will. Everyone's a garden. Definitely want Radiant Guardian. gonna go Lux single combat by collector from every fallen a new seed I 
Blinding Assault, Concussive Palm, instead of Grizzled Ranger and the three mana Mage Seeker. Okay, I could see that. I like both those. I, I do love Concussive Palm. I think that's a really good card, so both of those kind of help out Lux and everything, so... Yeah, I could see those being good good upgrades. Seriously? What are you doing? More Neverglades? Um. I think this may put in a Neverglade collector, possibly. I have nine mana, which is super awkward. I don't get to play multiple spells with nine mana. Yeah, I really need to play multiple spells. Um, please don't put in Neverglade. Please don't put in Neverglade. Darn it. I just putting in Never Neverglade. Oh, no, 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 no. Wrong card. Well, down to one. Down to one. So yeah, you're saying maybe take out Investigator, Grizzled Ranger, play more Blinding Assaults, and Concussive Palms. I think that's probably an upgrade. I, I, I'm, I'm for those changes. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm for both of those changes. I like that. You know, use Blinding Assault to try to turn on Radiant Guardian, which we did really struggle with turning on Radiant Guardian. I did talk about how I thought Grizzled Ranger would be a good way to turn on Radiant Guardian, but that didn't that didn't work too well. Um, so yeah, I'm fine with having Blinding Blinding Assault instead, and uh, Concussive Palm's a good card. I, I like that card quite a bit. So yeah. Yeah, that's, that's and and as I talked about at the beginning of the video, Grizzled Ranger not matching up against the most important four drop in the format um, at all. Uh, you know that makes it really tough. Like if you can't you can't trade with a six four overwhelm, um, just doesn't it makes it tough to play. Um, but yeah, I'm fine with I'm I'm good with both those changes. Uh, we, yeah, I the I don't think this is an eye of the dragon deck. I would rather have the Mage Seeker Persuader. I, I don't think that like we're just not playing two spells a turn hardly ever. Basically, like it's just uh, eye of the dragon's just going to be a one three that attunes this round start summon a dragonling would basic you know would hardly hardly ever happen. Now with having blinding assault and concussive palm that would help that happen I suppose. But as we saw in those games, like I don't think we, I don't think I ever saw a three mana deep meditation. Like anytime we had meditation in our hand, which happened quite a bit, we did. We drew meditation much more often than we drew remembrance, even though there's three remembrances and one meditation. But that's that was our luck today. 
we had meditation all the time and it was always five mana um so yeah our deck just doesn't play two spells in a turn too often with having such expensive cards because you don't really you don't really throw out health potion that early like these these cards are all so expensive um so yeah yeah I, I like both those changes i like changing blinding assault and uh you know concussive palm i like th those cards quite a bit i'll change the deck list to to reflect that so if if, if uh people want to try out the deck they try out those two cards instead um but yeah i was so disappointed um definitely was l looking forward to this one but uh things don't always go as planned all right there we go yes yeah, so i save that with the changes all right those y'all watching on youtube hit that like button over there feel free to um leave any comments about the deck or you know if you, if you try it out yourself feel free to let me know how it goes um and everything but anyway thank you so much for watching some karma lux control and i'll see you for the next video